Camelia here from Calcedonia Sewing. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have um, another uh, pattern review from uh, Sew Over It. The, their latest PDF pattern, the Luna Pyjamas. Um, I think uh, there are a lot of people that uh, are like me, you know, when you see those fancy pyjamas by other people that they are making, you think, oh, I really want to make those. But every time when I Think I want to make pyjamas, I'm thinking, oh, but maybe I need to sew something else that I can wear out. But this time, um, as a pattern insider, um, we get to see the patterns a little bit before releasing, so we can make them in advance that, that um, on the release day we can show them to you that um, the rest of the public that you can see the pattern in different on different kind of bodies and of course a variety of fabrics. So when I saw the the announcement for the Luna pyjamas, I was thinking, well, this is my chance to make uh, my fancy pyjamas. And I knew I had this gorgeous uh, Liberty London uh, Tana Lawn cotton from um, Minerva. So I was thinking, well, that is going to be perfect for the pattern. So um, the pattern itself is really, really easy. I mean, it's a wrap style blouse uh, that is getting tied and um, a pair of uh, pants with the elastic in the waist. Uh, the pants, uh, the, there is also only one pattern piece without the side seam. So really, really easy to make and I was sure that I'm going to meet the deadline. I was sure that I'm going to make it really fast. So with that in mind, I uh, ordered the um, um, copy print version it arrived really really fast and i still trace it because uh, i'm not sure about the size although i'm always ending up making size 12. so i traced my size 12 and i was thinking that maybe i'll not have enough uh, um, um, room here to overlap well so i cut uh, i traced the size 14 at the underarms but then um, I did a little bit of uh, tissue fitting and I realized that here it was really too much fabric so I decided that size 12 it was perfect for me and uh, another change was to make a sway back adjustment because even on the tissue I saw that it was a little bit drooping here the back the paper so only uh, the sway back adjustment and a straight size uh, 12 everywhere um, with my pattern ready, I knew that I could go cut my fabric. The fabric was already uh, washed and dried and um, ironed, so it was ready to go. And I started cut it, uh, cutting. The first problem was because this project it gave me some problems, but not the pattern. The pattern is really easy to make. There is nothing there. The instructions are great, but um, it was all my fault and you'll see why. I started cut uh, cutting but I knew that I had two and a half meters of this uh, cotton and I was sure that I'm going to get all the pieces out. But what I did not take into account was that this fabric is not uh, one and a half meters wide. It's a little bit lesser wide, I don't know exactly how much. But it's not one and a half meter what I always, almost always uh, use. So the first problem was that I had to cut the pants. Here are the pants. like this. I had to cut them single layer because it's only one big uh, pattern piece. There is no side seam as you can see. So I had to cut it single layer. So I started to, to, to place the, the pattern pieces on the, on the table, on the, on, the, on the fabric. And while I was at, I realized immediately that I will not have enough for facings and stuff. And then I started to, 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 you know, to think what I can replace with other fabric and stuff. The idea was to have a completely uh, um, printed pyjama, so not a color block like you see now. But um, when, I, when I placed the, the leg, the second leg, on the fabric, I was thinking, should I not uh, turn this piece to have a, um, a mirror image from the first one? And then again, the other side of my brain said, oh, you don't need to do that because it's only one, it's one piece, so you can place it the same. But that is not true. That is true when you have um, a center front of a front of a back of a pattern that you can uh, you don't need to flip it because it's only one piece. But when you have a, a right and a left, you always need to flip it. So I 
I cut everything and I had to piece my uh, sleeve. You cannot see here, but here in the here is a seam. I had to add a piece of fabric and I decided that I'm going to use a three quart sleeve because I did not have enough fabric. Um, also, for the facing, I knew that it would not be enough. It was impossible to get the facings, so I did. I, I did already choose this blue rayon for the for the inside facing, for the front facing. So I start uh, sewing, and really, I'm always sewing as much as I can before I need to go to to press. So sewing, 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 and at the moment I needed to put the two legs together of the pants and I knew it, I really knew it when I was um, pressing the inside seam of the pants, I knew it, that something was wrong. And of course I realized that I had two right legs, so I was, it was really, really disappointing. I mean, it's, it's such an easy mistake and I, I really felt like I was just starting sewing and probably you make this kind of mistakes when you are just new to sew, to sewing. So um, the first moment I was like, you know, I'm going to make only the blouse and I'm going to call it the day. I'll wear the blouse maybe with jeans and stuff and it will be, uh, be fine. But uh, it was really a pity because I really wanted the complete, uh, the complete set. And then I got an idea. And the idea was to uh, say my, uh, my project was uh, to make the pants but then in the blue fabric that I used for the facing, I had enough of that. I think I had the one and a half meter. Uh, it's from deep from my stash. God knows for what I bought it, maybe for a blouse or something like that, that never got made. So I knew I had enough from this, of this blue. And then I was thinking, well, I can incorporate the blue because now I was thinking it was maybe better to sew the facings to the outside. And then I think it was also a nice uh, detail. To, to have the blue facing uh, sewed on the outside and then I, you see something like this, like a crossover, it was really nice I think, but it was already sewn and uh, pressed and stuff like that. So I was thinking I can put, you know, I had the three quarts sleeve, I was thinking I can put some uh, cuffs on my sleeves and make them long. And this is how uh, this detail came here. I decided I wanted or I needed 10, 10 centimeters to make the sleeve completely long and I added that. And then the pants, I cut the pants in the blue fabric and to make it a little bit go with the rest of the blouse, I cut from the, from the wrong uh, uh, pants, the printed, uh, from the printed fabric, I cut uh, um, cuffs, you can see it in the pictures here. I cut the, the cuffs and I made them double because this, this fabric is a little bit light. I made them double to give a little bit weight and to, to make the pant uh, hang nice. So it's only, um, and I did make them with a seam because the fabric uh, possibilities I had were very limited in the, the legs of the, of the pants that I cut wrong. So they are double with a seam here and then they are just sewn together and searched on the inside. And I think, uh, I think is uh, I think is the perfect uh, perfect solution in this case. But um, my idea, and this is a last mistake in this project, <laughs> my idea was to make these cuffs as wide as the cuffs on the blouse, and I had 10 centimeters on the blouse. But then I had to take a break, and I came back next day to make uh, the cuffs for the pants, and I knew I need. I needed 10 centimeters uh, wide cuffs on the pants, but uh, I don't know, my head got dizzy and I made uh, 5 inches wide cuffs on the pants. I don't know why in my head 5 inches was thin, 10 centimeters, because it's not, it's 12 and a half. So I realized that mistake when I was already sewing these uh, guys on the pants, but that was too late of course. And to sew the cuffs, so first I made the pants completely, the complete uh, pattern as it is. I did take five centimeters off because they are really long. And um, then later I just chopped off a little bit more here, leaving a little bit of uh, seam allowance and added my uh, cuffs. That was also very, very easy. And um, the pattern has... Um, uh, the way that they are using to put the elastic is to make um, to make like a channel 
and then insert your elastic in it but I am lazy and I don't like to do that I am always um, putting the um, elastic I'm sewing it with my serger first on the on one on the right side of the let me see on the wrong side of the fabric so I'm, I'm let's say that this is the unfinished the the edge of my uh, pants I'm putting the elastic here I'm surging it on this edge and then I'm turning and then I'm top stitching here you know sometimes I'm using um, a zigzag in this case I just use a straight stitch and it worked fine and to be sure that I don't need to search which is the front and the back of the pants I just used a piece of the fabric to make a small uh, a small label so I, I really like this uh, treatment of the elastic at the, um, at the top it's really really easy really much faster than putting the elastic in the channel and um, one little thing that I want to show you on the blouse so with all the mistakes uh, <laughs> the results I think they are really nice I, I really like it and I think I like it even more like this with, uh, with this color blocking then with a complete uh, print uh, um, costume so I think it's but you know for a pyjama it was really fine I think also in one, uh, in one only in the print um, for the facing I'm going to put this a little bit closer to you for the facing as you can see this is the inside is really really nice finished uh, normally you'll uh, um, turn this to the inside the facing and then a top stitch or you surge it that is also possible but in this case I uh, used the interfacing because this fabric is also very light I did interface it I used the interfacing to finish off the edge of my facing too and um, I'll put a link here to a tutorial it's very very easy and I think it's a great finish also for um, waistbands for pants and skirts and stuff like that because you get a really really nice bulk free edge without uh, anything uh, showing so I think it's looking really really gorgeous also everything is understitched to get a nice uh, um, edge here that there is no it, you see I have the dark interfacing the dark facing here but from the outside you really cannot see anything so the fact that I could not cut my interfacing my facing in the right uh, in the same fabric it was for me not a problem because if you sew well your facing and you understitch you always have a hidden uh, facing and you are really safe with uh, any color so that was not a problem so this was my uh, my review for the Luna pyjama. The pattern is really easy and really nice and as you can see in the pictures it's, it's fitting also very nice. The wrap is enough to be comfortable and uh, I really like the sleeves and I think it's uh, I, I also like it because I want to say that um, the shoulder line is just a little bit dropped but in the same time the ease on the cap sleeve is also perfect I mean it's not a lot of volume because sometimes you have those uh, dropped shoulders that you have here a lot of uh, volume uh, ease in the cap sleeve that because it's not falling on your shoulder and it's a drop shoulder it's, it's looking a little bit it's not looking nice but like this it's really it's really perfect so I really like that and um, the pattern for the pants is also of course very easy to, to sew together you have only the inseam and the, the crotch seam and it's done and the elastic so pattern wise is really really nice and really nice made and the instructions are also very nice um, the fabric this is a, as I said a, a long uh, cotton very uh, very nice to work and to also to wear and uh, I think I want to have it also maybe in a softer rayon and the blouse like this I can really see it uh, wear uh, outside on jeans on st and stuff like that it's as, a, as a casual blouse so not only as a pyjama so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out the tutorial for the facing which is really easy and it's a really nice um, thing to have in your uh, sewing arsenal so thank you so much for watching again and I hope to see you next time bye <laughs>